Welcome to the 15th class. Uh, it is February 17, 2021. Uh, tomorrow will be the last day. That means today we will be looking at the actual test of the final exam and wrapping up with the written practice test two. At this moment, we just wait a few seconds for students to log in and then we'll begin. So what do you think is the most difficult part of the writing test or what has been the most difficult part of this level? Uh, leave me a comment in the comment section and let me know which parts do you find it more difficult? Which ones would you like to practice more? Uh, where do you think we should focus on in developing more exercises or more practice uh, for you to improve yourself? Hey, Mario, how are you? Hi, very good. And you? How are I'm you? Doing good, doing good. Ah, nice. Did you see the the UEFA Champions League today? No. Or you I, don't like the you don't like football? I don't. I, I don't. I don't actually uh, I, I actually don't watch soccer. <laughs> You're right. Uh, why? Mm -hmm. Why not? Um I never grew up with the sport. Uh we never had to play it in school. It wasn't part of the sports or physical education in my school. We had to play other sports. Um, and then in, in reality, uh, when I was young, it was always, um, they always looked at the, the soccer like it was for, mm -hmm. maybe not the word is for gays, but it, the, the soccer was always for the, the, the boys that were like girls because the players always fall and <laughs> cry and uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ah, I remember you, you study in the United States, right? Right, right. So that's why the, the ah, okay. you know, okay. The, the sports are like boxing or MMA or, or, or yeah. you know, the American football, but they're more violent. Yes, NF, <laughs> NFL. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, I understand you. Uh huh. That's why. But, you know, I, I, I have seen, I've seen the World Cup. Um, it's it's okay. It's just it it. I think it's part of the culture that it's you you know it, it's interesting to see the these are the best the elites. So for me, the same for basketball or baseball. I I always like the the final uh, the final games because I think wow these these are the mm -hmm. best teams the best players. So yeah. it, if you don't you like see the playoffs, yeah, yeah. If you don't appreciate the at this level, nah, then you don't like the sport. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. so. Okay, I, I understand you. Mm -hmm. no, no problem. <laughs> and in, what in about my you, case, I, I love I love soccer. Ah. Yeah, I love soccer because my father always, when I was a child, always uh, gave me a gift like a ball, a mini mm -hmm. ball, and we try to practice football in the house or soccer. Ah. We try to to play soccer in the house 
or in a park. And even though my father loves to watch uh, soccer games, mm -hmm. and what is the reason why I love soccer too. So yeah, in the afternoon, I try to work and <laughs> I see a little time of the, of the game of the UEFA Champions League. <laughs> but yeah, for the reason I, I think was a very relaxing day in my job today. Oh. So I can I can do that because in other in other weeks or other days for me it was difficult to handle both to see the watch TV and, and work. So today was very very I don't know soft or light date in, in my in my job. And this is from uh, you go to the office, right? So you or you are no. in your home. No, you are in your home. Yes. Yes, actually I am in my father's house. So I visit her, uh, visit him and mm. and why is, is the reason why I'm here right now. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, that's actually better because you can, you know, you can really appreciate it because you are in your home, you have work, but you still have the game and you don't have to watch everything. You are listening and in the moment, <gasps> what happened? Those are the, the good things. Exactly the same. Yeah, for the reason I, I can, I can do both. I can watch TV and try to work. And if I don't have a uh, much tax to do today, or to do, <laughs> is better for me because I can try to to watch TV and and do so many tasks that now was difficult today. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I I used to work at a school, and the school really really loved soccer and really they had a they 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 canceled the classes when they were for certain games they have a big screen maybe like a cinema almost like mm -hmm. like like the size of a cinema it, it, it was in the uh, with a with a roof to make sure that the sides were covered so it was black so the sun didn't come in they could have it they had the speakers like it was a concert and the children and all of the, all of the children uh, could watch the game. Mm, nice. Yeah. In which school? Uh, Augusto Valte. Ah, oh, mm -hmm. I have a cousin who study in that in that school, but eh, around ten years ago, maybe she, he is a uh, two thousand seven, no, two thousand and eight prom yeah oh then i probably know him because i was ah, the, i was the uh, uh -huh. did, you, did you know uh, uh guillermo ignacio yeah barraza 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 uh-huh yeah 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 ah, it's, it's my cozy <laughs> okay yeah 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 it's for the last name that's it's for the last name uh -huh. yes it's, it's it's not common no exactly exactly uh -huh. yes ah, so you are you are a teacher yeah, from uh, Augusto Valte too. More or less, I was the coordinator for Augusto Valte. Uh, so I supervised all of the teachers, but sometimes if the teacher was sick or the teacher was not present, I went to the class and I and I gave the class. Ah, uh, nice. But the Augusto Valte right now is, is a bilingual um, school, no? I, they, I think they have one or two more grades to to finish because uh, we began the transformation. So now they have the mm -hmm. two systems. They have the two systems. They have the Salvadorian system for the last group, and they have mm -hmm. the bilingual system for the students that started in the in the uh, in the bilingual program. Mm, ah, nice. Mm -hmm. So when your cousin was there, I think mm -hmm. it, I think is only maybe second or third grade had the bilingual program uh-huh and yeah then... because i remember that he he told me that he's not a he not a graduate like a bilingual uh, system exactly exactly mm -hmm. so it was it was in this this transformation that every year the students from before one more year bilingual and then the next year another year but now 2021 the school should be complete the, the entire mm -hmm. because it I, I started the program in I think I started it in about 2000 2004 let me think no 
mm -hmm. maybe 2007. So mm -hmm. even from kindergarten to now, maybe, maybe it should be complete. Mm -hmm. mm, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, 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 I need to ask to my to my cousin. Hey, tell me who was Elvin as a teacher or as a coordinator? Uh huh. Uh, yeah, Elvin yeah. was. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, but you see a, a nice person, Elvin. No, like no. Like <laughs> Probably not because in the school I was is my job to be the, the coordinator and my job is to to <laughs> to push them okay, and say, to hey, push hey, them to push yeah, them uh -huh. yeah but to push the teacher too because this is that I push mm -hmm. the teacher and the teacher push the students and then mm -hmm. they they say no nah. but in my class it's not a problem because it's my class I'm the teacher but uh huh. When you are the supervisor, you can't be nice. And then the other people, ah, you have favored you nice with the seniors. You are not nice with the with the other grades. And yeah, but but yes, yeah, it was it was an okay time. Hey, uh -huh. we have Veronica. Hello, Veronica. How are you? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I am okay, but I have a headache. Oh, oh okay. Uh, yes. To watching tv too much of the 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 cell phone what happened or, or too many problems or what no because i i usually have uh migra. migraine migraine uh, migraine yes migraine yes mm. and you don't and, do any mm -hmm. and today i i i eat i ate a piece of watermelon and the watermelon provokes the migraine, Veronica. Yes, yes. But I like the watermelon. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't. Well, I, I guess everyone is different for uh, to provoke the migraine. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sometimes, uh, the, uh, sometimes, for example, when I, I don't eat at the time, I have hair. Mm -hmm. Another time, if I eat chocolate, I have it depends mm -hmm. on time. I don't know. Well, a little complicated. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, sorry to hear that. Uh, especially because I know that when you have a migraine, e even the light affects you. That when you see the light, you, <gasps> you are. Yes. Mm -hmm. The light is is uh, uncomfortable yes I, I only yes. only one time in my life only once in my entire life i had a migraine it was i i never had i never experienced and i i didn't understand mm -hmm. but when i had it then i understand because the even the smallest sound that the people open the door but you hear yes very strong <laughs> and uh-huh but then I, 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 I saw that you are, the migraine is for the, the pressure in the blood that pushes in mm -hmm. the brain. And, you, and in order to help it, you need to use warm water or warm liquids to, to make it easier to uh, circulate the system. Yes. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the, the pain during about three days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's awful. Yeah, I I, 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 I only experienced one time, but it's enough. Mm -hmm. I, under, I understand. <laughs> okay. Yes. Well, yes, Mario, go ahead. I, I think that we only two in this class today, Elvin. I think so. Uh, that Daniel, uh -huh. wrote, Daniel wrote a message and told me that it was not possible for him to, to join the class. Uh, oh, okay. I think he's he he has things to do with the uh, the network with Tigo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Only Veronica, Veronica and I. Hey, Veronica, put your camera on, please. <laughs> Why not? Because I'm Only... not in my I'm not in my home. I am in a uh, hotel. Uh... And I. <laughs> what do you think of it? And I 
a, I am a, I'm taking a, a comfortable uh, teacher. And how do you say despeinado? <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Messy hair, messy hair. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, my hair is messy. <laughs> and Veronica, are, are are you working or you are on vacation or what? Huh? No, 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 I'm working because I have to work here in Sonsonate. I live in San Miguel, mm -hmm. but I, I am working here in Sonsonate. Ah, okay, so you have to travel for yes. it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. You are you are accountant, right, Veronica? Yes. You are I in am. a in a physical inventory or something like that. No. No, I work I work in a auditing area, and I have to come. We have a, a how do you say sucursales in English? Uh, branches. 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 Mm -hmm. We have branches in all. In El Salvador, mm -hmm. and we have we have here in Sonsonate, and mm -hmm. I have to come here and evaluate the uh, the black, how do you say sucursal? Sorry, I, 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 yes, I'll put it in the chat. That way you you see. Uh, I asked I, yes. I asked that because when I was an auditor. I remember that when I yeah. have a physical inventory in other department, I try to 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 go to, for example, Santa Ana, San Miguel, La mm -hmm. Union, even though. No. And if when we have that kind of inventory, I try to to rest in a hotel in the mm -hmm. in the Usulotan. Uh, okay. No. In my company, we don't take an inventory because it's mm -hmm. a service company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We we are a financial company. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I, you say me that, but I forgot. Sorry, Veronica. <laughs> yeah, do you have yeah. you are like a, a financial financial uh, industry, right? Yeah. You work in the financial industry. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. And so I work. I, I went here to evaluate the the branch. The branch. Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm and confused. I, have... I I'm confused. What? What services do you offer, Veronica? I, you, the, the company, what, what are the services that you offer then? We give loans. Loans? Yes. Ah, uh, I got you. Okay. okay it's so like for the credit. For the credit, yeah. yeah. Like yes. Okay, so you... Yes, exactly. but you, Okay, you offer services the, for, for, for the industry, not for, not for people, for, uh, for businesses. Uh, Yes, we give loans to. It's a microfinance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I, I got it. Now I got it. No, it's because I was thinking. Um, I think I was speaking with Mario yesterday because financial services many times uh, are uh, uh, maybe not so much in El Salvador, but in in the U.S. They are offered uh, a lot to individuals. So Mario has financial services. Um, a lot in the U.S., for example, you have a lot of a lot of companies or even individuals that offer financial services to people. For um, they call it they call it estate planning, uh, planning for when you die. They call it a taxes a services for reduce ah, your, yes. your your taxes. So that's why I say financial services. Yes. Maybe I'm confused, but I understand you you are for the industry, not for the individuals. And actually, yes, Mario and Veronica, I, I have to ask, in El Salvador, I, I have never seen financial services for individuals that are no company. I haven't seen a company for financial services. Yes, they have a firms like audit firms or accounting firms. For example, I am accountant, so I am independent accountant too. I try yes. to do financial services to, uh, to my clients. I have clients mm -hmm. that are are, are pers uh, natural persons. I don't know if it's okay to say that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, it's individual persons. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I try to uh, give advice for their finances and the and the taxes payments because yeah. I'm accountant. So 
I try to do the, the, the taxes every month for these clients and give me the advice for have a better financial situation. So I, I give these services to my clients. But for me, because I'm, I'm account, an independent accountant, but they have another firms, for example, EY, PwC, KPMG. Uh, this is the, the, the big four audit firms in here in El Salvador that we have a BDO, Grand Thornton or something like a, a minimal or, or, or a less uh, accounting firms that they provide the same services. But it's different in US because in the US, a lot of people, they have the investment in stocks, they have investment in mortgage, they have investment in, in swaps and other financial uh, uh, products. So for that reason, it's more specific for the <laughs> tax payments or the tax uh, reports because they, they have to present in the tax reports how many investments they have. But mm -hmm. in in US is very common that the the companies, the company, the US companies uh, buy, I don't know you say buy the stocks from the old employees and the employees invested in stocks. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's more common in US, but here in El Salvador, because we have a lot of companies that are our familiar business, family mm -hmm. business. It's difficult because they don't have like that culture to invest in New York stock exchange or invest in El Salvador stock exchange is, is, is different. So here in El Salvador is more like family business and the family business other always try to figure out how can how can pay less taxes or or even though um, try to figure out how how, how can uh, uh, how can administrate the cash flows or something like that? Yeah, Veronica, you put your camera. <laughs> Great to see you, Veronica. Yeah. <laughs> Only we are three, Edwin, you, and you and I. Yeah. But with Veronica... Only because oh, I am a, a little uh, shy. <laughs> nah, don't worry. It's on the us. Uh -huh. no, but I, I am a shy too, so don't, don't be problem with that, Veronica. <laughs> But yeah, in, in, in resume, Edwin, yeah, we have that services, but it's different because yeah. we don't have that culture for, for investing in corporations or something like that. But the family business uh, here in El Salvador try to pay less taxes. Yep. So yes. we advise for that. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I, I, I understand because always I have an accountant and my accountant eh, it provides basic. So for me, it's basic service. Eh, the basic service is eh, does the taxes, tells me the deductions, eh, mm -hmm. says, ah, Edwin, yes, you can include this in the deduction. No, you cannot include this. And, but the basic, for example, not, not something large. For example, I, I have a, it, it, maybe it's for the tax code, uh, mm -hmm. because in the US, if you have a property or, and you are not renting the property, you reduce from the taxes because you are losing money. So, Correct. but here in El Salvador, you, you don't because you don't pay taxes for the property. And uh, so these, these are some of the things that for me are, are sometimes a little complicated. It, it's different because in, in here in El Salvador, uh, no, is for, uh, for example the population that they can buy uh, like uh, a houses or buildings is different like in US yeah. it's, it's not common here in El Salvador that they invested in houses for example because they, we have a tax for 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 pay for the the houses mm -hmm. <laughs> we have taxes for that and the accountant if you invest in a house they try to advise you uh, how how can you uh, prepare your tax uh, uh, reports? Or maybe that accountant try to do the tax reports. But yeah, yeah, we have the same, uh, uh, in, uh, the same uh, transactions like US, but the population here in El Salvador is different because they have a, a less- uh, Income? Incomes, yes. Yeah. It's different. Uh, only 
a few uh, families, they have a lot of income that they can invest in houses, invest in terrenos, I don't, lands, lands, uh, lands or properties, lands yeah. or property, yeah, or invest in stocks. Uh, it, it, we have a, a, a few person here in El Salvador that they can invest in, in such kind of investing <laughs> uh, products. But in the U.S. is very common because uh, the the incomes or the, I don't know how to say, poder adquisitivo. Uh, what is it? The acquisition power? No, the, the purchasing, sorry, purchasing power. Uh -huh. That's it, purchasing. Some, it's different in U.S. than here in El Salvador. Even yeah. though I, I remember that uh, the last weekend I have a meeting with a client mm -hmm. and we're talking about that because in U.S., all the people always have that like knowledge about the tax payments and they mm -hmm. have that education but here in el salvador we have the same the same laws we have we have to, to pay tax we have to to report the taxes but, but we don't have that knowledge or we don't have that uh costume habit uh, eh? habit. That's, we don't habit. have that habit mm -hmm. it's, it's different here but I try to, to explain to my clients, even though explain my family, explain my friends, and every person that they have to pay taxes, why is the reason that we have to inform, to, to report to the uh, treasury here in El Salvador? It's like Minister de Hacienda, but in US is the treasury department. Mm -hmm. So I try to, to explain uh, all, the, all the, the people that ask me about the, the tax payments. Because is if we have that culture or that habit, like U.S., probably we have different uh, situation here in Salvador. Probably, you but know. we know uh, we know that we have a very corrupting governments and politicians that were very corrupt. So it's different. But I don't know. Maybe one day. <laughs> you know, it's it's funny that you mentioned that, Mario, because. One of the proposals, um, one of the business plans that, that I have with some people is creating these funds and these financial services for Salvadorians. Uh, because, what oh, you, nice. because what you mentioned is true, like with Veronica, that, that uh, many times it's businesses, small businesses or large companies. But maybe one thing you, you don't understand is that you, in the U.S., you don't have to be rich to have stock. You have the minimum salary and you can buy property. You have the minimum salary and you can buy because they have funds. They have, uh, they have, re they have investment funds. Um, they also have real estate funds. So for example, you want to buy a, a, a house and Veronica mm -hmm. wants to buy a house, okay? In El Salvador, traditionally, the idea is Mario buy the house, goes to the bank, get the loan and you pay for it. Veronica goes to the bank, gets the loan. But in the U.S., they, there are exist a real estate funds where Veronica put $100. Mario, you put $100, I put $100, and we have 1,000 people put $100, and we buy the property. And we rent the property. And from the money from the rent, we distribute for all of the people that invest in the property. Mm -hmm. So, Correct. so this, this allows people that normally could not buy property one buy property and two have an investment so this is the these are some of the that's why i said that i i asked about the financial services because uh, really uh, i know that in El salvador you have there are a lot of laws and a lot of accounting and you need uh, you need to I, i'm not sure if you can create the business or you need for example like permission like a bank to capture funds from the public but it's not for you because this is because it doesn't exist in El Salvador. Yes. This is a very legal problem or open space. In in US they have a like financial banks. Mm -hmm. Here in El Salvador we don't have that. Uh, for example, in US you have Goldman Sachs, uh, you have a uh, Deutsche Bank, mm -hmm. you have in, in, even though CD they, Group, yeah. they are, they are, they are investment banks. They mm -hmm. have that kind of of funds, mm -hmm. derivatives, uh, swaps, uh, mortgages, funds, etc. They have a lot of that kind of products, but here in El Salvador we don't have that. Yeah, yeah. only we we can 
we can invest in stock only if, for example, I try to have a or handle a conversation with TD Ameritrade in the United States, for example, mm -hmm. and I try to open an account in a TD Ameritrade, and I try to do my the forms or the the all the forms that they ask me that I had to 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 write and send us, but uh, the TD Ameritrade is like a uh, they have a brokers and the mm -hmm. brokers they uh, they charge me a commission or fees for that transactions but here in El Salvador no I don't have that uh, kind of uh, uh, products or services because we don't have that uh, kind of banks we don't have that culture but uh, if you have a if you have an investment like a, a family business and you invest in the El Salvador stock exchange is it's the same like US. If they have a products, but here in El Salvador only have uh, letters, uh, bonus, even though stocks, because they have a, a lot of company that invest in the El Salvador stock exchange. And I can buy a stock, a Salvadorian stock, but uh, the culture here is, is different. It's, mm -hmm different 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 in even the the salvadorian companies they don't i they think that it's not safe invest in el salvador stock exchange for the corruption here in el salvador so that companies invest in a in a financial banks in the us and they have a broker that they pays the fees here in el salvador for a broker from a Goldman Sachs, TD Ameritrade, CD Group, etc. All that uh, financial banks, but they pay a fee, and they have a, a, a accounting, a bank accounting or funds, but in the US, and then the interest that received from that funds or from that investments, they 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 receive here in Salvador banks, but for that uh, transactions. Here in El Salvador, we have to pay taxes for that transaction. Well, I, I give you a little uh, example <laughs> from my financial advice, but uh, they have a, 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 a lot of opportunities that you can invest and you can diversify the risk in different bank accounts or, or many countries if you, if you prefer. But uh, only that knowledge here in El Salvador, only have a few, a few people, mm -hmm. not, 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 every, not every people. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But it's, it's very interesting. I try to, to advise that from my clients. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, it is for me. It's very interesting because I, I, I see personally, financially and business wise, I see a big market because in El Salvador doesn't exist bonds. For example, in the US, you buy government bonds, the normal mm -hmm. for, for birthdays, you buy bonds, mm -hmm. municipal bonds, you buy for, you know, Santa Tecla, yeah, and you give them the financing. Or like in the case of uh, property, uh, maybe I want to purchase uh, and I don't want to sell the property. I don't want to have investors, but I, I need lo the loan. So I don't go to a bank. I go to personal or they call them like angel investors as well. You can go and mm -hmm. if you have a plan. Well, I think you've seen the shark tank. You don't need a bank. You can get directly finance from many different groups and hedge funds and other many different organizations. But, and, and I think I, I told my wife, you know, it's amazing because in El Salvador, mm -hmm. there, are, there are so many financial services that El Salvador doesn't have that I think is a big market, a big, big market that only you, you only need to invest... Or, or offer the service and, and have good publicity. And then you can do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you have to be, a, maybe if you try to, to buy that kind of funds from a financial services in US, or you invest in the New York Stock Exchange, you probably have to be a broker, a broker license for uh, bring that services here in El Salvador. More or less, and, and that's the problem legally, because mm -hmm. because legally you can invest as an individual, 
uh, in the in the U.S. For example, Mario, Veronica, right? We can invest in the U.S. But the question is in El Salvador because if I receive, you know, I don't know, uh, ten thousand dollars in finance from El Salvador, mm -hmm. I can I can invest in the U.S. in the stock market. But in the stock market, I don't pay a fee for the stock market, but I pay a fee for transaction for for moving the money, not for not for buying the stocks. So, mm -hmm. for example, is like you say, uh, you know, uh, that well, JP Morgan or the others, uh, they that the fee is not for the transaction of buy or sell the stock. I can buy and sell with no problem, but whenever whenever i transfer money from el salvador to the us or if somebody says oh i want to uh, receive my money i have to pay the commission for re remove or for withdraw the money from mm -hmm. the banks so that's that's why i ask because in el salvador i don't know if there is a law where for example if if, if i go and i say hey i have a fund i have a business i need people to invest i don't know if, if there's like I don't think there is a law where you have to you, you have to report it, but I'm not sure because it's not a bank. It's, I, it's, it's an investment and it's just like any investment. You buy a car from aduanas, maybe you win, maybe you lose, maybe you know. So I, I, I don't know because in El Salvador, many times the people do the things, but it's illegal, but it's normal. So it, the people continue. <laughs> yes. Um, I think I have the answer for your question. Um, here in El Salvador, we have loves, for example, but if you have the, the company uh, created, created here in El Salvador, if you put an, uh, a society, SA, un SADCB, society, uh, for if you have to pay taxes for the society here in El Salvador. But if you have that kind of market, you don't have to report here a la, in superintendencia financiero. You don't have to report that kind of uh, com, uh, institution. Mm -hmm. but, but if you invest in US stock exchange, the, you have to report to the Security Exchange Commission. Mm -hmm. but, you, you, but you don't have to report directly because you are not a broker. So we need like a broker in a financial institution in US mm -hmm. for being like the uh, puente or bridge? intermediary. The bridge? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's like, like the bridge. Uh -huh. Because if you have the license for be a broker, mm -hmm. yeah, nice. The, 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 the Security Exchange Commission, they have to add you because you are a broker you have a license and you have the the certificate that you are a broker that you can invest in your stock in new york stock exchange first you have to do or you have to to have that license then you can invest in the us or in every country that you want for example if you when you have the license for be a broker you probably we fly to China or Australia, and even in that country, you can invest in the New York Stock Exchange because you have the license. So first you have to be to have the license, then you have to create create a business here in El Salvador, and uh, you are like uh, uh, the the bridge between New York Stock Exchange. And the Salvadoran people that can invest in that kind of funds in U.S. funds, but you have to have the license, and you have to report to the Security Exchange Commission. You have to report, uh, I think, only the SEC, the C, the SEC. I only, I think, I the, you have to report that. But here in El Salvador, if you have the company. Uh, uh, Created, created here in El Salvador, you have to pay the, the taxes like a Salvadorian people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. but I have other uh, tips, but uh, it's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
No problem. No problem. Well, it's very interesting, but you know, it, it, I think that's why I think that for you and Veronica's job is very interesting because there are so many uh, small things that change if you do this, but if you if if you do something different, then it's okay, but it's not okay if you do this. And it is very, you need to read a lot and know a lot of the, not only accounting, but also the laws, when is correct or when is not correct. Because you can say, yes, yes, I can do the numbers. Anybody can do the numbers, but it's not the same for being able to add, subtract, do the numbers and understand when it's legal and when it's illegal, when it's appropriate or what, when you need to change. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. All right. Well, I'm going to share my screen with you so we can go ahead and take a look and make sure that we are um, we are clear because today is the well, not the last day, but we should be working already on the final exam. Um, OK, so yesterday we we did this writing exercise, the writing practice, uh, which was part two. Today we're taking a look at the last activity that you have which is the final exam, okay? And the final exam is for sections three and four of uh, the questions of the exams. So really there are only 10 questions, okay? Here, the easiest ones are the multiple choice ones. As you know, always the, those are the easy ones because you can choose and select, but the, the ones where you have to write are usually the ones that are a little bit more difficult not so much for the answers, but because you need the correct writing, comma, capital letter, sometimes a period, different things, okay? So let's take a look at it in, in this part. Um, why, uh, Mario, have you started to do the exam? Yeah. You, you already started, yes? Yes, yes. Okay, and Veronica, did you start to do the exam? Yes, I am. Okay. Well, in that case, um, I, I'll give you a few moments. And then in that case, I answer specifically your questions. Is there any problem that you're having any of the questions that you say, hey, I tried, but this, I didn't get the answer. Or, you know, I, I, I think it's this, but is the, the computer says it's wrong. Or mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I have the problem with the, I don't know if the bond punctuation marks mm -hmm. uh, but for example for me in the in the in the final exam uh, the the third question for the integrated question three and four which skills we will be put into practice before you speak your answer i tried to to look uh, to look before the the videos mm -hmm. for for remember the, the correct answer and put that, but sometimes I put the answer, but always uh, they give me like a, I have a wrong a wrong answer. They pass what? me in the in the middle term exam, okay. but right now no because I, I I I don't have the answer right now because I didn't <laughs> see the videos uh, right now. But no problem. Uh, but think think of this. In my case, it's the yes. same problem. Okay. Well, let's try number three together. Okay. So. Okay. What you are saying, the question three is for the integrated question, three and four, which skills would be put in practice before you speak and your answer? So in this part, okay, before speaking, so when it's a, a speaking question, before you speak, what are the activities that you need to do? Remember, there are some things that you need to do before speaking. Uh, read the, the article. Correct, This, but it's going to be with I ING. So it's going to be I reading, reading, reading mm -hmm. the article. Uh, only I read. read a passage. Read a passage. I don't know. Okay, so okay. one of the skills is reading. And what is the other skill that you have to do? Remember, before you speak, you have two different listening. Listen. Exactly. So that's it. That's the answer. Reading and listening. Reading. But we had to put a comma. After no, no, no. We... No, no. Only. Reading and listening, and that's Reading it. And listening. Okay. And that's what they, that's what the question is. What do you do before speaking? In the speaking answer, well, you either have to read one one thing or 
listen so reading and listen okay it's okay for you Mario uh, I try to to put like if that okay I need to send the, no the answer what what about for you Veronica it's okay uh, they put me like a wrong a wrong answer for reading and listening uh-huh mm, let me see yes it's a wrong answer ah uh, i we i don't have to put like uh uh, uh okay no yeah it's, it's correct i it's put cool. i put a punctuation mark no I no put the, no, punctua no punctuation uh -huh. no, no the reading and listening Re correct reading with, and listening yes with ing mm -hmm. no capital letters veronica no capital letters oh uh, it's okay it's yes. okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. Okay, let's take a look at the other question because the other question is the, these, uh, the ones where you have to write are usually the ones that are the most difficult. So question mm -hmm. five is when being scored with three features, which, sorry, which three features will they check on? So this, we know that it has to be three things that are the answer, right? So this is what they're asking you is what are they going to grade? What is when you are answering these questions? What are you? What are they grading? I wrote delivery language use and topic development. That is correct. I don't that, know. that is correct. Very good. Very good, Veronica. That is correct. Those are the three things they evaluate. They evaluate delivery, comma language use comma topic mm -hmm. development and nothing that's it very good Venon. Uh, nav n I, no period no 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 comma only enter and that's it okay it's okay <laughs> Okay, good, Veronica. Very good. Yeah, you had a good answer. That's right. Sometimes it's only the comma or, or mm. something like this. It is the problem. Mario, for uh, you, number can five. Can you repeat the answer? Uh, livery. No. Delivery. Delivery. Uh, delivery. Mm -hmm. delivery. Comma. Language use. Comma. Topic. Development. Topic development. Meant. Topic development. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I have the. I put the correct. I I tried to put in in the chat. Okay. Delivery. No. Uh, language is with an A. So it's not L E. It's L A. So, mm -hmm. mm. let me put. So, your answer is the right, but is. Mm -hmm. Ah, the U, I put the U. Ah, okay. La topic development. Okay. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. All right. And what about number ten? What did you? Number ten. The question is usually, what kinds of questions? What would kind you of question would you? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Mario. Read it first. Would you be Usually, what kind of question will you be asked for in this type of independent writing question number two? So in, in the writing section, in question number two of the writing, what kind of questions do you are they going to ask you? These are three. These are three things that they normally ask you for the writing part. 
formal questions? Um, not three kinds, no. but they, they ask you, this was in, in the video that was, um, they asked you to write about. What did they ask you to write about? What are the, the general topics that they asked you to write about? I don't remember. I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay. the, the, to... No problem. The first one is they ask you to write about your opinion. That's the main, these uh, are the main, the main ideas. They, is, they, they're going to ask you to write for an opinion. What else? What other type of questions did they ask you? question so when they say uh, what do you think about this or like yesterday that yesterday the question for the writing or at the beginning what kind of questions are those the first one was your opinion right what mm -hmm. do you think this is the correct or the teachers uh, I, I can't remember uh, the person who is not educated can teach or something like that but that's the the opinion right mm -hmm. The other type of questions that they ask you are for agreement. Do, do you, do you not only your opinion, but which of these two people or which of these two things are correct? Okay, and explain why. That's the other. So you have opinion, right? We have agreement. If is yes, is good to maybe let's say they say, oh, uh, they are going to build a new stadium in El Salvador. Okay. Do you think it's correct or not? This is an agreement. I, I, they, do you agree with this or do you disagree with the construction, for example? Okay. Mm, okay. Um, the opinion questions opinion, are, agreement. the mm. opinion questions are, what do you think they should build in El Salvador? That's Did different. you agree or disagree? Uh -huh. so, you have, you, we, mm -hmm. so you have opinion, agreement, and the last one is like uh, like brands or marketing, okay? And this is, which is your preference? Do you think this is better? Do you think that? Which one do you like? Which one do you, the, Veronica has a solution and Mario has a solution to a problem. Which, cor which solution is the correct one? Or which one do you think is better? That's the preferences. Okay. Okay. So, so for question number 10, our main ideas are, we're looking at opinions, right? We're looking at- Agreements. Correct, we're looking at agreements. And branches. Uh, no, not branches, preferences. Ah, uh, preferences, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. So you have opinion, agreement and preference. These are the three types of questions that are going to be in the writing or that are usually in the writing for that section. It's opinion, agreement, and preference. Yeah, look in the chat. Look in the chat, Veronica. Mm -hmm. Mm, okay. Okay. All right. And those are, they are in the video, but you have to go slowly because the video has, for example, one part of the slide, opinion, mm -hmm. one part of the slide with the other. So it's not, a, it's not one answer at once. It's like by sections, and that's probably what makes it more difficult. Okay. And the other questions are, you know, they're multiple choice. So you read, you analyze, you don't have to worry about mm -hmm. the spelling. You don't have to worry about the punctuation, the comma, or things like that. Okay. okay. <sighs> I, I recommend you try to do it today because if you have problems or the internet goes, or I don't know, something happens, mm -hmm. uh, you tomorrow you are finished. It doesn't matter. Um, 
remember that especially because it is i think i mentioned it before but this year you are not allowed to continue working after tomorrow they tomorrow they close and they will not give allow you to like in the in last year where uh to be, is the last day of class but you have one more day or you have an extra two days to finish mm -hmm. i think the reason is because is because they expect to begin on monday the next course that's why they, they i think this is why they're they're trying to to minimize that the, because the more time you have then the the more they have to wait so this is the idea yeah i totally understand mm -hmm. but i think I, I i feel very insecure about the toefl exam because in all this course was was very difficult very tough the the writing section the le the the reading section was very difficult <laughs> uh, yeah the TOEFL exam is is a difficult exam it's not is not yes it's not easy and and to be honest even in the TOEFL exam you have many Americans or many uh, natives as they say and they 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 don't, they don't pass because don't. these is different between speaking English and doing it correctly. And that is the problem. It's, it's not like Veronica and I, hey, Veronica, how are you? How was your day? No, it's not communicating. It's doing it professionally in a correct manner. And that's the hard part. Yes. Uh, I have a question for the middle, middle term because okay. I wrote in the in the three question if the phrase X in the passage is closed in the meaning two. This is a sample of which time or reading question. Mm -hmm. I wrote reading vocabulary question, but it's wrong and I, I don't know what is the answer. <clears throat> Let me check. Uh... This is for the midterm, right? Yes. Okay. Let me give me just one second so I can see. This is question number three. Yes. Okay. All right. And you wrote? Reading vocabulary question. Ah, okay. It's because you put reading. It's, not, it's only a vocabulary question. Mm -hmm. So, it, it, it in the midterm, eliminate the reading and only have vocabulary question. Okay, and the and the six. What do what what the function question identify? Mm -hmm. I wrote insert text question. Okay, Inga. so. Vocabulary. I I think I think you were not in class when we mentioned that for number three in the system had a, a mistake for spelling, and you check in the chat. In the chat, you have to write number three like that without the a, because the, the system had a uh, a spelling mistake. Mm. Mm -hmm. I, I don't remember when we talked about that, but I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before, but that was for number three. And then the number six that you said, yes, it, you're, many people had the answers correct, but it's not a one word or one thing. It's, it's a complete sentence. And is that sentence. They identify the particular meaning of a statement in a given context. That was number six in the midterm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome because... It, I, I have to be honest, if, if, if I didn't tell you, I don't think anybody would have it correct because no. you never imagine one that the exam have a mistake and you are putting and putting the correct answer, vocabulary, reading vocabulary, vocabulary uh, question, reading vocabulary question, and never yeah. pick because <laughs> the spelling is not correct. And the second one is because the others are only the words or the phrases, you never imagine the number six, you need to have a complete sentence. Nice. Thank you, Edwin. 
You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, I need to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. And in my case, I tried to to uh, I tried to going to a university in Canada. Hey, I tried great. to search. I tried to search uh, how can I have a a financial system to go to to Canada and then uh, study in Canada, but I feel very insecure about the language because they they said me that I need to do the TOEFL exam, I need to do the MIT uh, for for apply to a Canadian university. It's not uh, true. For the... Really? Yeah, 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 it's not true. Um, some universities, you need a TOEFL, but other universities, you don't. For example, my student uh, who was in, who went uh, last year to Canada, he went to study mm -hmm. in Canada, uh, they accept the, um, the duolingo English exam. <laughs> uh huh. Because he, he in which university? In which university? He, he went. Uh, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to contact the university uh, and ask them if they because of the pandemic, because of the situation, the universities are accepting other exams, and not necessarily has to be the the TOEFL. They accept uh, the Duolingo, the TOEIC, or the TOEFL exam. Ah, nice. But I need you have to be sincere with me, Elvin. Mm -hmm. the, do you, do you, uh, for example, I tried to speak very well the English. I had to to study the grammar too. But I don't know. If, do you think that I I can uh, study in in a Canada in Canada University? I have the 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 correct pronunciation, the correct vocabulary, or what do you think for me uh, have the difficult or I can uh, improve, in, improve from study in another country uh, I, for I, study? I think, uh, that, I think that your best opportunity to go to Canada is to go to the six months uh, language course and then go to your career. Okay. Because okay. In many universities, if you pass the class, you are automatically accepted into the university. You don't have to do the exam after. And that is another tip to avoid the complication. It's like, the, it's like in El Salvador, right? The, to graduate, you can do the thesis or you can do the course. If you do the course, you don't have to do the thesis and you avoid the complication. Mm -hmm. Similar for the language. If you do the course that language course at the university you don't have to worry about the exam mm, okay this, this might be so another, I, I have to but, do like a course uh, uh, English course in that university mm -hmm. I have to pass that English course and after that I can have a automatically a, a, automatic, a, a degree in a university oh, you, uh, sorry you, in the, and you can study in the university yes ah, right. okay well, I hate to cut us short, but I have another class. So no uh, mm -hmm. I will see you guys tomorrow. So remember to finish the exam and we'll check tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Peter. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Thank you. Have, have a nice night. night. You too. Have Thank a nice you. night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.